Eight drivers in one headphone. A unique kind of a beast. From Blue Dio, a brand name that is gaining in popularity because they're making a reputation for making well-constructed headphones without breaking the bank. So, how does this monstrosity sound? Let's have a look. So, the parcel arrived in this cardboard box. Inside this, there was the retail packaged box with the pictures and diagrams printed on it. Point to note, Blue Dio includes concealed security sticker to verify that you received the genuine merchandise. A rather important thing. The overall packaging kind of reminds me of how Beat Studio packaging was. Once we open the box, there is an attached envelope with the multilingual user's manual inside. Then there is the hard shell case. From the outside, it is very nice. I would definitely note this as a value adding item. Inside, we have the headphone folded and an elastic pocket that has the audio cable and the USB cord. On the headphone side, there is molded plastic base for the headphone to fit snug perfectly. This can be removed if one feels like it. Now onto the headphone. I ordered the red and black edition. There are few other colors to choose from as well. Styling. Well, these things I tend not to comment about. If it is good looking or not is up to an individual to like. Build quality however is decent. Everything that there is is finished nicely. Everything feels right. The ear cups are made using synthetic leather but is nice and soft. The headband is also covered with the same material and is cushioned. The headband can be extended and there are nice clicks as the band extends each step. While we are on the subject of headband, it cannot be permanently bent to ease on clamping force. Example of this is the ATH M50X we looked at earlier, where there is metal inside the cushion which can be permanently bent to loosen the clamping force. Having said that, the force in question is not unreasonable. I have used the headphone for about an hour, beyond that I feel like taking it off. It is not that I don't wear headphones for longer, numerous times I have worn the ATH M30 for over 6 hours at a time to do a day's worth of work without any issues. The M30 however is much lighter than the UFO. The UFO without any cables weighs in at over 340 grams. Because of this weight, the headband feels like it's pressing on the head after an hour. A bit more cushioning could have solved this. The cubs do swivel and rotate a little bit to manage a better fit. As far as the ear cubs go, the cushion is nice and soft and has a lot of gift to it. The fox leather is nice and soft as well and the overall setup here is comfy. As far as circum oral goes, this is not so completely. All this cushioning sits on the ear by most part. To give you an example, the AKG K52 we reviewed recently has a large clearance allowing the cushion to completely stay clear of the ear and rests on the bony parts around the ear. I am stating these as a matter of fact and maintain that wearing the UFO for about an hour, I have no issues with that. The left ear cup has audio jack port. If the headphone is off or is out of juice, you can use it with the audio cord provided. The headphone sounds very different if played via cord. The right cup has the micro USB port which is placed in an awkward position. This may prevent the headphones to be used while charging. Not a big deal. Once powered on, there is a voice notification that says power on and pairing or paired as such. The right ear cup has the controls which works as they appear without any fuss. The only thing that I would have liked is that instead of the smooth flat surface, if there were any dot or indent, we could feel the position of buttons better. At times I ended up pressing the volume up instead of next, etc. Again, a very minor thing. I have gone past the 10 meters in direct line of sight without any issues. Going to the next room was okay as well, except moving around in the house room after room, there are places it cuts off, and that is to be expected. And now the main event, the sound. Before I proceed further, let me show you something. Behind the cushioning, there are three tweeters, and behind that is a 50 millimeter driver that plays an important role as we shall see shortly. 
When I first played the headphone, I could notice that the headphone was powerful, though I could not reach its limit with any kind of music that I played. Plus the upper mid was too sharp. I tried the DSP that the headphone comes with, that does not do much for the sound. While there are many drivers in this headphone, they work more like 2.0 setup with passive crossover circuit. On that note, the amp onboard the headphone is certainly more powerful than the usual power of preamp in the phone. I was using Spotify and I thought, let's try to tweak the sound a bit with the equalizer. And yes, it started to punch nicely. But what Spotify does, if you increase one frequency up, it lowers the overall volume to save you. Yes, to save you, to protect you. So I tried something different. VLC player does not do that. In fact, you can equalize and increase the gain at the same time. The result? Eardrum bursting sound. No distortion and no holding back. This is what subwoofer attached to your head feels like. This is vulgar display of power. The vibration is intense, like the earlobes were shaking. It beats the Beat Studio in its own game. But I warn you, this much power is damaging to your ears. I have discussed noise induced hearing loss in another video and those warnings discussed there applies to this headphone very much. When I took the headphones off after listening to one song in this setup, my ears were ringing. As far as sound profile goes, it's certainly not flat. There is coloration and untuned sound as mentioned earlier the upper mid is too potent. Certainly, for work purposes, this is not right. The UFO is not meant for any monitoring task. It's for music or movies, etc. For listening pleasure, a bit of tweaking makes it come to life. You need to personalize your sound. And to that end, the strength of the main driver is an asset. But I'll say this again. There is such a thing as too much power. Goodness gracious, man. This is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation. Overall, the UFO ticks a lot of boxes. The hard case is very nice. The build quality is reasonable, but a bit on the heavy side. It is comfortable enough for about an hour's use. The battery seems to last very long. In fact, I've never charged it out of the box and after a week's worth of use, it is still going. I have made phone calls with the headphone and it works. The caller on the other side could hear me just fine. The sound, after a bit of tweaking, will be pleasant for most individuals except maybe perhaps the audiophiles who want the high resolution or pure rendition of source. And yet again, if pushed, there is madness quantity of power on offer as well. This may sound enticing but may not be very good for you in the long run. And finally, the price tag. At under $100, there is a lot on offer here. Like I said, Blue Duo does not break the bank. I have placed links in the description for both Amazon and Gearbest. One may be cheaper than the other. Well, that wraps up the video. Hope you have enjoyed it. This headphone is part of the next giveaway. To take part, please follow the link to the Gleam page to participate. Terms and conditions do apply. The link to the terms is in the description as well. More reviews and giveaways are on the way. Please subscribe to stay updated. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.